mainly in case the recording goes wrong, I can pick up. I, I know that the bottom save is created just before um, the. Uh, what, what do I want to say here? The bottom save is created just before I started recording this session. Anyway, little trick of the trade right there. Uh, season 1 was a little short, but really good. Um, really did a good job of setting up the core characters and all that kind of jazz. Um, season 2 was good. Um, I felt like there was a little too much time spent on all the stuff going on in Dracula's court, so to speak. Uh, and a big reason for that, in all honesty, is why there's... Like, all of that politicking is because there's a million different characters that all existed because for some reason they don't want to put the Grim Reaper in the anime. Uh, which I don't get why, because he's also just such a big part of the story. Um, and he's like the iconic Castlevania boss alongside Dracula, in my opinion, is the Grim Reaper. But, yeah, for some reason... They don't want to put him into the anime, so instead you end up with uh, a million different vampires, all serving as, um, you know, what do you call it? Hold on. There we go, we want to steal from him. Yeah, a million different vampires, all kind of serving the purpose that death would be providing in the story. He would be fulfilling as just one character of having, like, uh, you know, the opposing viewpoint and fatalistic view of humanity as a whole, as opposed to Dracula's, uh, more, uh, rabid total extermination type thing, because you would reason that death would be more like, well, you can't just kill everybody, you know? My job is really only to take the people who have guts to go. Uh, so yeah. Also, you saw that we stole a spirit of Fuji from this lesser demon. I'm gonna try to steal another one. There we go. Uh, I believe we can make some fun things with that in just a moment. Oh, you know what? Here I am being a fucking idiot. Uh, let's go back to the store with a magical ticket. I got sidetracked talking my own ear off. Good to see you came back. What can I do for you? Not really a good let's play. I'm, I know. I'm what bad at this all? stuff, but that's mean? okay. Uh, memorial ticket? I'm gonna buy a couple be just because else? I like to be stocked up. All right, innocent what devils. We're gonna store you because we can't really use you. Okay, I'll take it back. Will that be all? And then we're gonna take uh, you. Okay, I'll let you have it. Do your best. Yep. I mean, I'm over here. Yeah, there's all sorts of new stuff we can get. So, okay, we might make that. There's a lot that we can make. And what do we need for this? Ancient memory and wild memory? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, huh? I would rather get better armor. Number one. That helmet we can't make yet. Equip the Lorica. Um... Make a new axe. Chrono ancient memory. Chrono and ancient memory. Hmm. Well, I think this is the uh, Satsumaka. Yes. Which I want to make because that's a prerequisite for um, another spear that I really like. Uh, can I use fist weapons for this? Yeah. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna make this guy. 
with a club. And we're gonna skimp on that for right now. So we get some new toys. There we go. Let's sort by type. Um, so Setsumata is pretty much just like the Lance, except it's a little faster if you notice. And also, you get that cool move. Right? So then, uh, I'm going to show you the two-handed sword because it's honestly going to be a while before we get to use it. Basically, this is like your powerhouse weapon. The only thing stronger than this is like the two-handed axes, but you see that move right there? The spin is really, really useful against uh, the flea men and stuff like that. Right? And then... Uh, I might as well show you. Is this a two handed? No, this is a one handed. Uh, and then we get the punch rings, which. Hmm. Alright. So, I want to look at this fairy. We're really close to uh, next leveling it here. And I'm going to stick with the lance. Well, actually, I'm going to go to the Satsumata. It's only a couple points down, but it's still pretty good. And we'll warp back with the Memorial Ticket. And we aren't too far from the last save point, so... At least I don't think we are. No, we're, like, right there. It's fine. A little bit of a detour. Plus, fighting some of these enemies again will give us a chance to, uh... Get, um... More gear, uh, more materials. Ugh, the fucking wizard. Got all about him. I'm trying to finish this guy off before the wizard heals him. Get, get, ah. There we go, finished him off. Come on. There we go. Now that is such a good move. Also, now we should be able to make you the bamboo sword. And uh, you might be like, the bamboo sword is useless. Like, it does so little damage, but it is a prerequisite for another weapon, which is actually pretty good. I'm just gonna... Oh, uh, you dropped the Ancient Memory, though. I need Ancient Memory. Plus, with that move, it's really not so bad. What do we got? Another one? When are you going to spawn one at a time? Here we go. Alright, I want to go that way anyway. It's a good thing that happened because it stopped me from going the wrong way. Yeah, so that, like, whirlwind attack is really, really good when you got people in the corner. Because it'll fucking juggle. Yeah, this is the right way. This works out too, because I can steal more Spirit of Fujis. There you go. I want to go ear to ear with him. Alright, cool. This guy's leveling. Nice! Alright, and now I can switch to a sword with him. Take out the Zweihander. German, of course, for two-hander. Um, a lot of people think that a Zweihander is a specific type of sword, where technically 
All it really means is uh, a great sword in German. Uh, so uh, any great sword that is technically of a German design is a Zweihander. It's not technically different from a great sword. Of course, that doesn't start RPGs from statting it differently. And in my opinion, that's not a bad thing. Because uh, the more weapons your game has, the better. Because uh, I like weapons in video games. That's just how I am. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Get out of here. So see, this sword hits like a truck. Which is a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, fuck. Ah, I got distracted by the wizard. Alright. Let me focus on you guys. Spirit of Fuji. Now, unfortunately, the greatsword isn't as good with ear-to-ear -ear stuff. But it doesn't need to be. And then what is that? Just loop around? Yeah, let's go fill that in. Spin attack. Come on, give me hit me with the psycho crusher. Come on. I can't you a little too close, man. There we go, Spirit of Fuji. Thank you. So as you can probably guess, the spirit of Fuji is like one of the key ingredients for creating a uh any other like Japanese styled weapons like the Satsumata and the bamboo sword and shit like that. Alright, nice. Aluminum. Never have too much aluminum. At least in my opinion. Where are we now? Oh, also, we totally skipped the second floor, huh? I'm just realizing that now. That's alright, we'll go back there. Yeah, let's go back this way. Am I going the right way? Yes. I know I do that a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I'll get used to this map, I promise. Again, it would just be so helpful if there was some sort of compass to aid you in your navigation. Either a compass or... I wouldn't expect a mini-map, but I would like one. It wouldn't be unappreciated. Alright, so these guys are the Phantom Swords. And I don't quite remember how to steal from them, even though I read how to do it. Do I have to perfect guard you? Maybe not. My gut tells me it's when they do that thing where like they throw their sword around. Or maybe it's where they make that magic circle. No, because it's not that. These are tanky motherfuckers, huh? Took a lot of hits. Alright. Okay, yes, yeah, so it is when they do that. Alright. Hector, you're not- you're locked on, but you should be automatically hitting them. I don't know what the deal is there. Okay, so it's- oh, interesting! Is this the same enemy or a different enemy? No, it's a different enemy. It has a different type of sword. Spectral sword. So with him, it's with the magic circle. Alright, I think we can make more stuff. We made a new sword. Alright, that's the same sword. With the ceremonial tool. We'll worry about that later. 
Gana with an Ancient Memory, let's make it. Two-handed axe, I can show that off. Uh, let's make our helmet. And then that's just with the hide armor and the ceremonial tool. Can I use a, uh... No, red and green for this guy. But we'll use the two-handed axe at another point, I promise. Swinging all around. We're both swinging and missing. It reminds me of the time I... Oh, is it time for that story? Uh, I want to make this a video on my primary channel at some point about the one time I played Dark Souls. And, uh, spoiler alert, um, I don't really care for Dark Souls. And, and I know that automatically makes people mad. Um... And it really has nothing to do with the difficulty of the game. In fact, when I played it, I really didn't find it that difficult. More so than, say, like, your average uh, old-school video game. Right? It was pretty much that kind of level of difficulty. It's really more about memorization and pattern recognition than it has anything to do with, like, pure test of reflex and skill. Um, but, to make this story a short one... Essentially, the thing that I did not enjoy the most about Dark Souls was it felt like, uh... So the fairy learned Antidote, by the way, so anytime we get poisoned, this fairy will heal us immediately from the poison. Um, so, where was I? Uh, the one time I played Dark Souls, the thing that really bugged me was the movesets of the weapons. I, I just hated the way that every weapon in that game played. It felt like... Every weapon did, like, these big, wide swings that left you wide open. And, like, were so, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, what's, uh, telegraphed. That's it. That's the word I want. Uh, like, everything is so telegraphed on both your end and the enemy's end. And it felt like, see, telegraphing moves in a video game really isn't that bad. In fact, it's better in video games that both your moves and enemy moves are telegraphed, right? Because for readability for the human mind. So that's not the problem. The problem I had with it was, uh, number one, I thought it looked silly. Uh, number two, uh, because it's telegraphed but so slow, unlike this, like for instance, this, this is telegraphed but it's fast, it feels good. I just did not like the slowness of it, and also because of the wide angles of swings with weapons and stuff like that, um, I also really felt like uh, it was just hard to hit anything, and it was also actually rather hard to get hit by anything, as long as you were positioned correctly. And I'll give you one short example, when I tell the full story someday. I'll go into great detail, because I remember everything step by step by step uh, of how the, my entire, like, hour with the game transpired. Oh shit, we're at a boss room? Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let me finish my story before we go in. And also, I want to use a mace for this. Um, so anyway, there was a point. The point where I kind of decided the game wasn't for me was beginning of the game uh first dungeon there's a point where you get to a hallway and there's just like a skeleton with a sword a great sword in the hole of the hallway um and you know i go up to hit him and i get a sword as well so my guy swings and he does this big long overreaching swing that's really drawn out and telegraphed except he hits the wall like, the sword hits the wall instead of the skeleton. So, you know, with the nature of Dark Souls, it's like, oh, alright, well, I'm fucked. Uh, he's gonna hit me. So the skeleton takes this big, overextended telegraph swing with his sword, and he hit the wall. And from that point on, I was like, 
this uh, this game's not for me. So I thankfully it was only because it was free on Xbox Live back in the day is the whole reason I even played it. So after that, I put it down, and that was the end of that. I haven't played Dark Souls since. Wait, that crest. Are you the Devil Forge Master? That whip. Could he be? Answer me. Are you the Devil Forge Master? I am. Then this is the hour of your death. Oh. Trevor, you're looking, uh... A little Japanese. <laughs> so yeah, this is... Trevor. And he's a pretty fun boss. He's really tough. Um, because he's hard to get a hold of. Right, so your best bet against him is to kind of battle back against him and try to perfect guard his attacks, because it'll leave him open. And the reason I'm using a, the mace is because everything else is just too slow for this fight. Oh yeah, he's invulnerable when he does that, I forgot. Got you right where I want you, Trevor. So I might be like, wow, we're doing so little damage to him. And you'll see why in a moment. Ow, holy shit, Trevor, you're fucking being a little too hardcore for me right now. There we go. On your oath, are you truly the Devil Forge Master? And if I am? For one that served under Dracula, you seem much too weak. It's been said that the Devil Forge Master's power rivals that of death. Ah, so you are hunting for Isaac as well, I see. As well? Then you're not... Wait... I recall there was another Devil Forge Master. They say he betrayed Dracula and forswore his powers, but that was three years ago during the war. Could he have survived? It cannot be. Believe what you like, but answer me this. Are you not Trevor Belmont, the one who defeated Lord Dracula? That I am, though I did not fight alone. There were many brave warriors beside me. And your name, sir? Hector. Hector. I shall remember that name. So yeah, you aren't supposed to win that fight. <laughs> You're just kind of supposed to survive long enough. Um, Alright, let's go back to the Zweihander. And uh, I'm a little bummed about missing the second floor there. Uh, I almost want to go back. But you know what, we're going to come back anyway. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a, uh, a marker on the second floor to remind myself that I completely forgot to explore it. And we'll come back to it. Let's continue on with the temple.
Here's a magical ticket in case you wanted to go back and save. Oh, what is this room? Bring a battle type. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, gotcha. So, we gotta go back. Let's go with a magical ticket. Also, I don't think Hector, Trevor has a steel. Uh, bestiary. Is he in the bestiary? Does, I don't think he even gets a bestiary in entry. He might, though. Nah, because he's like level 30. Yeah, he doesn't even get an entry in the bestiary, so he doesn't have a steel. Alright. So, here's the deal. What are we at with you? We're only at five of these for you. Alright, Julia. I don't mean to swing my sword at you. I'm trying to remember what button it is. Here we go. So, yeah, we're going to store. Yes. Yep, and then we're going to take our uh, battle type. That should be good there. Yep. And now, I'm going to go ahead and summon. Well, let's summon you so we get you some levels. And I want to make sure that you're off as far as the crystals go. Usable items. Memorial ticket. There we go. Right, and then we should be right near the, uh... I'm so tempted to go back and go to, uh... the second floor, but it's... I would... Uh, it would cost so much time. Because I feel like I'm missing something important there. Because the way back is a long trip, too, huh? There's no easy way to get there. Shit. You know, let's keep going forward. So I believe over here we get the, uh... An ability that's needed to do some cool stuff. So he learns Brute Force, and it's an attack command, but also it does some pretty cool stuff. And uh, it's needed to open like pathways and stuff like that. Yeah, see, so we need him to lift that door up. All right, well, we're going to take out you and uh, blue, green, or white, huh? I guess we'll switch to this. All right. Oh, here's a warp room. So yeah, there's the warp in the mountains, and then there's the warp over here. Right? Yeah, we're going the right way. I'm stuck in here. Oh, look who it is! Yeah, so this is uh, this game's version of Slogra, who has always been a favorite of mine as far as monsters, and it uh, it saddens me to in a way his downgrade from. Uh, I have very fond memories of him 
in Super Castlevania 4 being hard as fuck. While in this, in subsequent appearances from him, he pretty much gets downgrade, downgraded to a shitty lesser enemy. Um, what is that? The basement. Which is sad because, it, like I said, in Super Castlevania 4, the whole thing was uh, about Slugra. Was he was fucking hard as hell. I to this day I swear that he just will break his fighting pattern and just do as he pleases and fight dirty the entire time. So these enemies with the bags called Thebes, as you can probably guess what they'll do is they'll steal from you. And when it, they do get, you do get items stolen, it lets you know. Um, but it's really annoying. And they also don't really have much to steal. However, if they steal an item from you, uh, I, one of the ways you can get it back is if you kill them. But you can also steal it back from them, which is kind of funny. But I suppose it makes sense. Ow. Here, a wizard. 